Hi kids. Um, here's where we're at. Welcome to part four. I was going to make this a lot longer, but I decided not to. I uh, just kind of want to get this project wrapped up and uh, bring it to a conclusion. So this is where we're at. It's about ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video for a second and show you a few pictures of what it took to get here. And then we'll talk about things. Okay, so several coats of paint, I don't know, three or four, five maybe coats of paint total here and there, sanding in between, attempts at clear coating that didn't work out. I tried, um, uh, let me just grab this real quick. It says right there, Krylon. Says, this says Color Master, acrylic, crystal clear, Satin, acrylic, satin, Krylon. There's a, was another can of this that I had that didn't say Color Master on it, but it was Krylon, it was acrylic, it was satin. The two aren't compatible. They must be slightly different formulations because when I tried to put this over the other one, it wrinkled up. It wrinkled up a lot. So I had to sand it down and clean things up and, and try again. And eventually I just decided to skip the clear coat. You can see it's got a nice satin, you know, sheen to it. And I haven't waxed it yet. I'm going to do that. It's got little itty bitty, you know, imperfections here and there. But overall, I'm not too worried about it. I think it's going to be fine. I will, I could, I could sand it down again with 800 grit or something, you know, before I wax it. And that might make a difference, but I think it's fine the way it is. You know, the only major problem is that repair that we did. You know, if I can get this in the right light, I'll pick this up and show you or try to. Right there, you can you can see it right there next to this reflection, you know. Right there, it just it just shows a little bit, um, and I you know don't really know why. Because I I had uh, sanded it and painted it and sanded it and painted it. I got it down where it felt just absolutely perfectly smooth, uh, and then I touched it up with some paint and it showed up again. So we're gonna live with it. It's, it's very slight. There's a, also a little slight, almost almost looks like a slight run right there. You know, could be, I don't know. But anyway, so, but overall, you know, that repair is practically invisible. It'll do. So, anyway, uh, that's where we're at. And uh, we're ready to put it together and finish this thing up. So, stand by for that. We'll move right to it. Thanks.
lawn care needs with a Kubota Commander Zero Turn Mower and get commercial results for a residential price. Maneuver through landscapes with outstanding performance, comfort, and ease. Won 15 straight playoff games at home since the Game 7 Finals loss a couple years ago. We're it means seeing a doctor if you experience the symptom. Spice one. Time lapse came out all right. We'll find out. Anyway, got it all uh, waxed up, looking good. Got the chrome shined up about as well as it's going to get shined up, you know. Got the back on there. Got the feet on it and the new label. Looking good. Okay. Get that out of the way. Um, got my. Uh, new cord on there and I had this I don't know if I mentioned it before but I had this plug this style plug in white this um, vintage plug which I like better so that's what we went with works fine works really well in fact um, chrome you know like I said chrome's not bad it uh, it's still you know it's got some pitting and everything but overall considering the shape this thing was in when I started and if you haven't watched part one please do um, I think it came out great. I think I'm going to call it quits and uh, go give it to the people that I'm giving it to. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, series on the Crosley dashboard. Not sure what we'll get on to next, but it won't be long. I'll figure something out. So um, there it is. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>